What if we were to tell you that the most transformative spot on the Camino de Santiago is not Santiago de Compostela, but 230 kilometers away? What if, hidden along the ancient pilgrimage route, there is a place that draws people from all corners of the globe, a place where lives are forever changed? This is a spot where pilgrims come not just to complete their physical journey, but also to embark on a deeply personal and spiritual one. It's a location where intentions are offered and burdens are laid bare. In this video, we invite you to join us on a journey to discover the hidden gem of the Camino de Santiago, which may show us that the most profound transformation may not be at the journey's end. I'll cherish that day in my heart forever, engraved in my memory for many years to come. I can still see it vividly through my tear-filled eyes. It was a serene morning, even though the path was far from empty. We set out on our journey early and the air was really cold, particularly as we ascended to an altitude of 1,490 meters. You might find it hard to believe, but from the previous night at our lodgings, there was something in the air, an unspoken anticipation and hung around like a gentle whisper. It wasn't just in the atmosphere, the expressions on the faces of my fellow pilgrims seemed to transform. Since the previous night, conversations passed with excitement, filled with stories about what would transpire the next day. Some declared they would linger for hours, while others remained silent, their silence conveying more than words ever could. We finally arrived there. Cruz de Ferro, a place of profound significance, is marked by a roughly five meter tall wooden pole, crowned by a meter and a half iron cross that extends into the sky. Around the cross, there's a big pile of stones, but these aren't just regular rocks. Pilgrims from all corners of the world bring with them worries, doubts, problems, intentions carved into these stones, carrying them throughout their journey until they reach this point. For some, it's a hope to unburden themselves, leaving their troubles behind with the stone. These stones endure, serving as last reminders of the pilgrims' hopes and promises. Cruz de Ferro marks not just the end of one journey, but the beginning of another. The tradition is to bring your stone or find one along the way, using it as a vessel for your intentions and emotions. When you look at the shrine from below, being in the presence of this pulse feels like you are standing atop an ocean of emotion. Spheres, joy and sentiments from countless individuals over time, and the experience is deeply moving. You can sense this, without even closely looking at the personal items, tokens, phrases and other objects spread among the stones at the base of this post. Similar spots can be found on the Camino Portuguese and other less famous routes, but equally impactful. The most important lesson I learned was when we were leaving that place. As the stones became fewer and more spread out along the way, they were still there, but beneath our feet, not as heavy as before. This time, they were influenced by our emotions and a deeper understanding of the inner changes that occur in that place. And if you want to know more about these special places, please check the link in the description. We prepared a list for you of the places we think you shouldn't miss. And if you're just preparing for your Camino, 
I think that you might consider that big mistake that many people do. What no mistake? The mistake of taking your stress for life and bringing it to Camino, starting your Camino without stopping and reflecting and changing the vibe. Like starting your Camino straight out of your plane when you land in Spain. Yeah, like or in doing France. your holidays and still finishing your assignment in the university. Mm. So what's the solution? Uh, we made a journey within retreat, which is a four day retreat just before the Camino. Yeah, it's a chance for you to press the pause button, refresh, reset, and start your Camino in the right mindset and with a peaceful mind. Every journey that we do, we do those three, four days of break. Just before starting. Before actually starting and after as well, but before, just to get into the vibe. So this is a chance for you to actually have the same experience with like-minded people, small groups of people going for Camino de Santiago and not only. For more details, go to the description. Yeah. And there will be a link. Ciao.